Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once more to Steel Division 2. Now today I have the rebuilt first Lovars Division of the Hungarian Army. Now the reason why this is called Alexander's uh, first Lovars as you may ask is due to the actual YouTube user uh, Alexander. He did comment down below on the actual first video and he did make a amazingly well detailed post and uh, suggestions for how to put together the battle group so i've taken those and tried to uh, make it work as best as i possibly can here now i'm going to go through the actual tabs here so um do forgive me i'm going to be reading out the comments here so in reconnaissance alexander has us actually using um, definitely more elite forces than we were using beforehand well better trained i suppose you could say so we have the federito Giro, uh which is yep as we can see here these guys we are using them in the 38m bortonda which is actually pretty nice well the bortond a it's a very nice vehicle pretty damn quick we do have those guys in at elite here in the phase a so we have two of those so six in total we do have a 39n uh, 39M Sasba, which comes in B phase here at Elite. This is really intended to be the eyes and ears for the root, well, for the armored push, really, if we have that. Uh, we do have the Lovars over here. These guys are coming in in B phase at Elite as well. Also in the 38 Boton A. And again, we can see here we have four squads of them. But um, at Elite, they should be doing pretty damn well. And this is a pretty effective squad over there. The optics is very good. Superb. Now, the infantry tab. It is rather intriguing, actually, but what I'm going to go through here, then, is actually Alexander's thoughts behind his decision for these units in the Reconnaissance tab. So, he puts here, the first thing for your re Reconnaissance is survival, because a dead recon is a bad recon. A seen recon, what will easily happen for the tanks that are dead Reconnaissance, basically, he means here that the tanks have low, uh, low stealth, and they're very easily seen and destroyed. The optics of reconnaissance is a secondary concern. The 30M, 39M Sazbars are in the layout to give the tanks tank assault some eyes so then we move on into the infantry and in the a phase we do have our hussars over here they are coming of course in the 38m botond a's and we have three groups of those sorry um actually quite a few groups of these don't we we have um let's see two groups of hussar tis and they come in at uh, veteran here now i do have two squads of each of these guys we do have, yeah, we have our fellows over here, the other Hussars. I, I really am terrible at pronouncing the names. I will eventually get used to it, but uh, do forgive me for now. Do indulge me. Uh, so we have uh, three squads of these guys here in the A phase, and they're coming in at Veteran. Really trying to get those numbers in there. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to actually use this unit as our leader in the A phase. Uh, so I've had to relegate them to being in the B phase. So in A phase... We're unable to have that, uh, so we've had to suffer. Well, we've had to settle for this unit over here, uh, which is less than stellar. But hey, I tried to get as close as I could possibly get to the comments here, and that was as close as I could come. So that's okay. Yep. So we have in the B phase now. Really, uh, his force here establishing the strong points along with the front line with the infantry attack supported by officers. After establishing, you should prepare for a combined attack with B infantry supported by B officers, tanks, and artillery slash aircraft. He makes a solid point here. Yeah, the entire first Lovars division is rather intriguing, really. It definitely seems like a very early geared division, which is actually really quite different. It's something very special, actually. It's really in the first few minutes, the first 20 minutes, I suppose, where we will shine the most. But of course, moving on into the tank phase over here. Now, I don't have that much familiarity with Steel Division 2 as of yet, so I can't really comment on how good these things are as of yet. I've only played the Hungarian deck once before this, so I still need to get used to it, really. Okay, so in the tanks, we do have the 41M turn on 2. We have these guys in here, okay. Now, I want to actually have these in at the B phase, so one second, make sure that they're in here properly. Okay, so the 41... Um, Turan to PK. That's coming in the B phase here. Now, I don't think I can actually get this one in here, actually. So what I'm going to do then is go for the... Uh, hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so what we're going to have to do then is settle for the 40M Turan. Bring them in in the B phase at Elite. There we go. We have two of those. Now, what I'm going to do then is, as the comment says, bring in the 41M to around 230 points. Yep, there we go. In the B phase at Elite. There we go. We actually have a good number of these guys in the Elite phase here, which is quite, it's quite nice, actually. 
They're not the best tanks ever, but they do have some capabilities, and they will serve to support the infantry. Now, he put here, uh, leading elements of the combined arms attacking phase B. Tanks are primarily used against enemy infantry and infantry-based gun platforms, not against enemy tanks, but these purposes are the anti-tank guns and the air force. Moving on swiftly into the support tab, we have, uh, yeah, a very small one here. Uh, the supply truck should only be called in if the game is going into a long and painful defense. The 50mm mortar should be added to strong point defense to scatter enemy attack and infantry, and armed fighting vehicles if it's needed. It can be used if, as an offensive gun, basically. So we have the 39M Gran 50mm mortar there. Okay, I'm going to have that brought in with the hands on, actually. Well, then again, actually, we'll have that in the 38. It should do well enough. It'll be mostly supporting the infantry, anyhow. Now, this is where we do get some uh, real meat in here with the anti-tanks. So in here, we do have uh, the 40mm guns that should be used as the centre of any early strong point if any heavy tanks is rolled into your lines at this time. These guns can handle him. The 75mm guns are for strengthening the established strong points or to construct new advanced strong points around them after the offensive. The Jagdpanzer 38T is there for a mobile anti-tank response or to strengthen the attack. So as you can see here, these guys are primarily used to actually uh, be the centerpiece of our strong points. Basically, we'll move into a town with the infantry, have one of these guns uh, established in there to deal with any sort of armor, and really sort of work. I mean, I think how the first low vars division is going to work, at least how I intend to use them, is uh, they're not a division for the open field, but not a division for the open plain. They definitely are a division for the forests and for most definitely the most definitely the urban centers. But urban centers where there is some separation between uh, between the actual buildings, really some distance for them to be able to use these rifles. They don't really have the SMGs, they don't have the assault rifles that other nations will do, especially the Germans obviously with their STG-44s. So we do lose out in that, so we need to try and maintain some distance uh, to bring our MGs and our rifles into play here. Uh, of course the Jagdpanzer, super piece of equipment. These guys are being brought in here in phase B at regular. And the 40mm is brought in at A phase at Elite, and the other 40mm, well, the 40M 75mm are brought in in B phase at. Now, I wanted them at Elite, but unfortunately, it's only the two guns here on Elite. I mean, there's a big difference between Veteran and Elite, so I went ahead and went with Veteran. I think at the end of the day, it is for, well, it's far more forgiving to have six guns rather than two guns available. Okay. So then moving on, I have made a little bit of a change here. I really do like the Nimrod. I would like to use a Nimrod, and I think it could be very useful in the A phase. Obviously, it does have these four 40mm uh, high explosive anti-tank shells, but it's just the fact that it's going to be able to support the uh, infantry and the armoured forces. It's just all round a nice package. I like it. I think it could be very handy. Decent range, but yeah, just being able to support the infantry and just uh, support the offensive, really. Not even of our own forces, but potentially of allies. The Nimrod is something that the uh, Hungarians really do have an advantage in here. There's not much out there in terms of SPAA, and I think this thing is really one of the best ones here so far. Okay, moving on. So we do have the 28-39M 80mm dual-purpose gun. This has been brought in with the 37M Hansa Lloyd. Now, let's take a look here then. The 80mm should fulfill the role of a last defense dual purpose gun and uh, should never be used in a proper fight. Yes, basically this is going to be deployed in the uh, second line, tertiary line, and it's basically bad obviously for the AA defense, but mostly to take out any armored vehicles that do come a knock in. It only has 125mm of penetration, so it's not particularly the uh, strongest AT gun here, but at least it is something that uh, will probably have a good shot on whatever comes a knock in. Moving on into the artillery. So, we have the 37M Goring. Well, Goring uh, 105. Now, I wasn't too sure how many of these to bring. Um, I decided to go for two of them at Elite. We do have a lot of spare activation points. So I'm not entirely sure how I should use these to flesh out the division as of yet. I think what we'll do then is... Well, I've gone with the Nimrod. I've gone with some extra artillery. I might go ahead and change some things as we take this through a game. We'll just have to see how it works out. Um, yeah, these are our main artillery guns uh, for supporting the attack. Yeah, these are the actual artillery pieces to support our offensives and also, obviously, to run the defensive. Now, the air tap is really where we are uh, shine quite nicely here. Okay, hit the enemy as hard as you can with the beginning of phase A. And we have the Junkers 87D5. So this bad boy over here, we have two of them. Uh, this is running the heavy payload with the four... 50 kilogram high explosive bombs, but the uh, 500 kilogram explosive over here as well. So we have two of those in A phase at elite. 
Uh, we do have a Yonkers 87D5, which is packing the 2.5 kilogram cluster armor piercing bombs over here by the bomblets, which is going to be very nice. The cluster munitions is superb against armored vehicles, and we have that in at elite. We have here in the A phase. Now, I originally wanted to try and copy the commentary and bring these guys in at elite, but unfortunately, I can't bring them in in the A phase at elite. So I did, uh, well, I, I, I suppose I settled for veteran status in A phase. So we have two of these aircraft. So, this is another reason why I decided to bring the actual Nimrods as well, is because at least at the end of the day, we don't have to rely upon our fighters to do all the AA. At least we could always have our uh, fighters supported by some forward elements of uh, the SPAA, which would be quite nice. And lastly, we do have a Focke Wolf on 90 F8, which is our fighter bomber over here. He's been brought in in the A phase at Elite. Of course, he does pack um, 8 of these 50 kilogram high explosive bombs, uh, but he's also there really as, uh, yeah, a fighter bomber. He's there to potentially take out infantry, take out trucks, soft skin vehicles, that sort of stuff, really. And, um, of course, it is still a fighter at the end of the day, so potentially still able to help control the skies. Now, we're going to go ahead and give the Alexanders the first Lovaz division a good go out here. Let's see how it turns out here. So I'm going to save this here. Ideally, everything will be all right. Uh, we'll see what we can do with the deck and really see where it can be improved. Now, Alexander did say he didn't know how this would perform. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Now, I'm kind of tempted to give a multiplayer game a go, but I'm going to go with the skirmish here for the time being. We'll get a general feel of the game. I'm still learning the ropes here. So, what we're going to do then is go for Orshal again. I'm going to go with the one versus one. Uh, I'm going with the Maverick over here, I do believe. Yep. Just uh, double check that we have that set to Maverick. And edit. Yeah, set to Maverick over there. Fantastic. There we go. Alexander's deck. And we'll fight against a random allied pre made battle group over here. So, let's go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, and see how this performs. I know you guys want to see some gameplay, and so do I. I can't promise it'll be good gameplay, but at least we'll be gameplay. Okay, so we are somewhat familiar with this map here. I think it's a very nice map. <sighs> There's a lot of fight over there. I mean, this is where I think the Hungarian division can shine, especially in places like this. This is what I was talking about, where you have like these urban centers, but there is definitely some separation between them. Like, this um, obviously would be beneficial to SMG troops and assault rifle troops, but at least the, inf well, the infantry, the armed with the rifles, do have some sort of a chance. They can try and take out any enemy forces as they approach. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. So obviously this time over we do have, instead of like having reconnaissance uh, armor, we actually do have infantry over here. Now, this is not a bad idea at all really, and I can understand completely where he's coming from on this decision here. At the end of the day, if you can actually see what's going on, then you're probably going to be able to handle it, aren't you? No, I don't have access to the armored cars as of yet. So I think what I'm going to do here then is actually have uh, potentially two reconnaissance teams brought in over here. One of them over here. I could bring in a second one, but I've got to bear in mind. But then again, these are too expensive, are they? So we'll go for a second one here. Um, I could go for two on each, but I think a one about here should be fine. So what I'm going to do then before I do move on is actually give them orders here. So what I'm going to tell them to do is unload at, uh, I'd say, ooh, try and get them to about this position here if it would be indeed possible, but I'll have them unload there. At least they do have a good chance of actually surviving. Okay, and this vehicle over here, I'd like you to try and make it towards, um, let's say, hmm, the church would be fantastic over there. We're just trying to make it to that position. I could try and give it a go. I could probably make it. So we'll give it a go. Have them try and deploy over there. They're going to be moving very quickly, ideally before the enemy can really get going and uh, make themselves into, uh, well, <laughs> into the fret really. Okay, have you there. Let's move you onto the actual road. I'm going to have you deploy, I'd say, in this position over here, just for the time being. At the end of the day, we'll have one uh, reconnaissance team over here. We'll have one down here. I could try and move them into this position. Actually, I'll try and have them move into the actual forest over there. The buildings are fantastic, but the buildings are a uh, pretty likely spot to be attacked, or at least to be actually assaulted by enemy infantry as well. Now, I'm going to try and make this infantry... Uh, well, I suppose we could have a go... This position is going to be covered, so this area is going to be covered by this position here. So I'm going to have a go at uh, taking this building over here. It's very forward, so I think we need to try and address that by potentially relying upon our, well, our air power, really. We do have some very good infantry. Very nice infantry. Okay, the quickest road to the front 
Um, of course, we need the road, really, don't we? And uh, we do have a road over here, actually. Now, that is quite a covered path. I'd say it's probably a good idea. So we'll take the covered path. Okay. I think four of these guys should be all right. So we'll have them um, given orders. Okay. Yeah, so they've all got their orders over there. There we go. I must say, I'd l I do enjoy Steel Division 2. I do find the camera to be a little bit annoying. But I think that's just my preference there, really. I've not yet done any uh, changes to the actual camera, just to try and figure out what I do like. I'm going to have one team... I'm going to have two teams actually brought up over here. And uh, we'll have four teams brought up over to this side. Uh, then again, I'm using a lot here. Hmm. What I'm going to do then is actually... Um, take one of these as well, actually. Have that brought in over here. What I want to do is actually try and occupy this position here. I am going to be relying upon air power for the most part. So I think I'll take another infantry um, unit over here. So one up the center, two on the flanks. Uh, four here, yeah. So yeah, four here in the center. Two infantry teams on the flanks and then one here as well. Okay. Possibly one down here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, have you unload over there? Have you unload over there? There we go. Have you... ...correctly given orders? That'd be helpful. Okay, I suppose I'll have you make uh, your way towards this position if you're able to do so. Okay, now the infantry team over here. They do want to try and make it towards the actual buildings over here. Which is dangerous, don't get me wrong, this is very dangerous. So I think what I might do is actually have them deployed over here, actually. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I could have them move down this way. We'll have that uh, happen, actually. Yeah, try and make your way down there. Okay. Now the infantry over here do have a very tough roll ahead of them, actually. Have them unload there if they can. Okay, so... I do have some anti-tank guns. I'm going to bring some of these in. Question's going to be where. I'm going to say probably one up over this way. So bring one in there. I'm going to bring one down over this road, actually. I think that would be very welcome. And one over here as well. Though... Possibly even one up over here as well. Just make sure that they all have a uh, AT gun available for action. Okay. I'm going to have you deploy that position there. You. You have a more difficult task here. I'd say... Deploy about there, really. Want them in a covered position, don't we? Now, this AT gun does have to really... Uh, it, it can't afford to pull its punches. It's got, it's got to really pull a lot of weight here. I'll have you deploy about there, actually. I want you to try and cover this roadway and this roadway over here as well. Okay, so that leaves us some extra units over here. We do have some points available to us. I think what I'm going to do here, then, is rely on the air power. So I could bring in... If I dropped a couple points, I might be able to bring in a second Fokker Wolf. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is bring in a Fokker Wolf 190F8... And I'm going to bring in... I mean, I could potentially go with some close munitions. But, let's see. So I do have support here available. Uh, I could potentially bring in more armor, or I could bring in something else. Um, hmm. I think what I'm going to do is going to wait a couple... Uh, a little while, but I'll bring in another Fokker Wolf over here. Okay. So, we're going to see how that goes. So, do let me know what you think. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think your prediction for the battle is going to be, actually? 
Right, oh, bring in the okay, fucking wolf. Okay. Right, there we go. Yep, our forces moving out over here. So we're definitely making a greater use of the infantry here, especially on the reconnaissance tab. Okay, this gun needs to be brought in over here. Yep. Look at these forces moving out. And these are really nice trucks. Very much like them. Okay. You don't have a terribly long amount of time on mission, so I'm going to use you quite offensively here. We're going to scout out for the enemy. Yep, okay. So we've discovered one of our aerial reconnaissance assets over here. And we'll go ahead and immediately take that out, which is going to be a nice uh, little way to begin the game here. It has really no chance against the Bokka Wolf. Right, okay. So we can see that there is some AA over in this direction over here. We are pulling away. We're going to have it brought around here to the other side of the battlefield. Our forces are moving in over here now. Okay, we do see enemy trucks over that way. I'm going to see if I can actually use our Fokker Wolf 190 offensively. I do have another Fokker Wolf that's going to come in as well. There we go. Yeah, Fokker Wolf coming in here. Strafe and run. Successfully done. Come in here to try and take out this other vehicle. Right on load over here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. Hunt over here. Right, we can see that the enemy is over here. Right, you need to get into this position here. Yep, our scout team's there. Right, the gun can't quite see there, but it's a moment in time. Okay, gonna take this in over here. Gonna bring in the Focal Wolf. Um, right, we're gonna go ahead and take that out over here. Okay, our units get into position now. Um, our gun's nearly in position here. I'm gonna bring in a Yonkers 87. Now, I'm going to have them attack this position over here, actually. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is actually have these forces scout on up. These forces over here as well. Okay, so I have the Yonkers 87 available for support. Right, so our Fokker Wolves are here. Right, we are seeing some sort of um, mortar perhaps over this position here. See, I lack on aerial reconnaissance, so I'm going to have to use my fighters to some sort of degree as basically uh, reconnaissance. But we do control the skies here for the time being. I could potentially try to attack uh, the infantry over here. Probably not too bad of an idea. So let's see here then. Okay. I'm going to bring in another uh, Yonkers. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do here then is look for the enemy. Okay, we do see this vehicle over here. We do see a T-34, T-34 over here as well. I'm going to bring in these forces over here. Okay, yeah, we see... Right, okay, we are receiving AA fire there. Now this puts a lot of pressure on the actual enemy. Okay, we are seeing... Ooh, there we go. AA vehicle over here, try and take that out. Don't feel we're going to get the opportunity to do so, we're going to get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, you over here. Right, I'm going to have both of them make a run at this. Okay, so we aren't doing bad here at all, actually. What we're going to do then is continue to push on up. Yep, this is good timing. Right, our gun's still in the position here, that's nice. Okay. Bringing the uh, Yonkers over here. They are very slow dive bombers. Okay. Right, we are seeing some Maxim guns over here. What I'm going to do then is actually bring up some uh, artillery. We don't have access to that yet, so what I'm going to do is bring up some actual mortars over here as well, actually. There we go. Uh, try and bring bones in. Right. Try and take out this AA. Continue to push up over this way. What I am going to do here then is actually continue to push up this way as well. So I have my reconnaissance over here. I'm going to try and push this up this way. Now I do have this position here. You can see that the range of the rifles is very good actually. Okay, you are going to move into this position uh, over here and actually begin to push. Yep, there we go. Okay, you're evac it out of there. Okay, looking good. Right, we are under artillery fire over here. Then looks like mortars. Right, uh, try and hit that. Very good, okay, falling back. Perhaps not the uh, largest amount of damage there, but still not bad. Okay, our mortars are coming in here. What I'm going to do then is actually bring in increasing numbers of infantry over in this flank. I'm going to bring in a leader over here as well. And a leader over here and here in the center too. Okay, so the Focker Wolf. Okay, 
Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try and use the fighter here to try and uh, cause some damage to the T-34, but we don't really have too much here. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to have them fall back. There we go. Try and suppress it, really. Okay, fall back to that position there. Move you there. Okay, unload here. Okay, let's see. Fire position. Yeah, not the greatest amount of range there. Let's get them into position here. Okay, going to unload you. Okay. I'd like them to open fire here if possible. Right, so I don't have line of sight here, actually. Let's see. Support. Okay. Oof. Not looking good there. Right, anti-tank, okay. Uh, tanks aren't yet available until B phase. So what I'm going to do here then is actually bring in more aerial firepower. Right, bring you in over here. Okay, when you to stop in that position there. You to stop there as well. Right, I'll leave Zarkman in. I'm going to bring up more infantry here on this side. Uh, our Yunkers 87 is coming in here. There we go, this should be quite effective. Yeah, there we go. Looks like it knocked out the vehicle there. That looked like a high uh, value vehicle as well, actually. That was very good. Okay. What I'm going to do is actually have you unload at this position here. Okay. So I don't have uh, fire over here as of yet. I think I do not have the line of sight. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is move them up. Focke Wolf coming in here. I do have a Focke Wolf on 90 ready as well, so I'm going to bring that in. Okay, so we do have our forces over here. What we're going to do then is unload here. I'm going to have you unload at this position. You can unload here. Okay, begin to push up. Begin to push up. I really want to get reconnaissance over this uh, crossroads here, actually. I do have my uh, fire on station. I'm going to bring that in over here, actually. Okay, load has been knocked out there. Yep, our gun is taking aim. Okay, so anti-tank not yet available as of this moment here. Okay, what I'm going to do then is have these forces unload over here in the woods and they'll begin to move up. So I'm going to need some actual firepower over here. Do I have anything potentially... I do have an Imrod that is available. That is going to be good to suppress the enemy infantry over here. I'm going to bring in another reconnaissance squad over here as well. And I'm going to say... Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Better position now. Let's get them moving up. Mortars... Uh, do these mortars really need direct line of fire? Because I didn't realize that. Okay, we are taking some shots over here. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, these forces are getting pushed. The uh, Junkers is coming in there. Bringing out other fighter. Okay, there we go. We're going to begin to push up over here pretty hard. I'm uh, going to push into the town here. Right, so if it's coming up the road. Okay, let's push in to take this objective over here then. So far, I like the deck. I think the deck is performing quite nicely. We do have some issues with the um, enemy tanks. There's not too much I can do about that. Right, our infantry is opening up over here. They do have those free MGs as well, which is very nice. Okay, so we're still in the A phase here. And we have been causing the enemy some... Real damage here, actually. Real, real damage. Okay. Let's see here. Anti-tank, I don't have any more of these as of yet. Okay, infantry, I do have a leader available. Which probably isn't a bad idea. Bring it in over here. Just get something going. Okay, let's see here then. Artillery can't yet bring in. I can bring in another Nimrod over here, actually. Use it as anti-tank in a pinch. Okay, that unit has surrendered then, unfortunately. I think that's due to the fact that they were too uh, cut off, really. Okay. What I'm going to do then is actually bring in the cluster munitions over here. I'm going to bring in the Yonkers 87D over this way. Now, I need to get this reconnaissance up front so I can see what's going on. Ooh, that uh, unit has surrendered there. Fantastic. Very, very good, man. Okay, take that out. Okay. There we go. Tigers just come into the line of sight. Yep, yeah, there we go. 
suppress it with the actual bombs over here, then the close ammunition should finish it off actually quite easily. Right, we're now into phase B actually. Now this is where stuff gets real, where things get really real. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to do here then is actually bring in uh, potentially some additional infantry over this way. There we go. I'm going to go into the, uh, let's see, anti-tank. I'm going to bring in some Jagdpanzers. Well, uh, Hetzers, I should say, sorry. I wish they were Jagdpanzers. Okay, let's begin to push up. Begin to push up. We control these woods, not them. Okay, we do see an enemy vehicle over this way. I'm going to bring in the F, uh, sorry, the Focke Wolf 190 F8 over this way. Okay, let's see. Let's go attack that. Bring in the, yep, bring in the other fighter. There we go. Take out that vehicle over there. Yeah, that's been taken out. Need to take out the AA. If I can take out his AA, he's really got very little he can do against my air power. And our air power is actually pretty, uh, pretty damn good here. Right, that's coming in there, taken out. I suppose the bombs were a little bit um, wasted there, but I... Right, let's see, let's get some shots of this T-34 there. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually move this gun up to this position over here. Now, speaking of uh, guns, let's see, we do have another Hetzer over this way, going to bring it up. Okay, what I'm going to be looking at doing now is actually bringing up some uh, armoured cars for actual support over this way. Yep, Nimrod's over in this position here. So we are building up for an actual big push over this way, so we are going to bring in some additional infantry too. Really going to push this. Okay. I'm still very, very happy that we did force that uh, T-34 to surrender there. That's really a big goal. Okay, let's go ahead and take out that maximum machine gun. Over here, let's see if I can bring the 2nd Infantry Squad to actually help them out. Um, okay, yeah, you hold position here. That looks like a reconnaissance vehicle, actually. Looks like a reconnaissance tank. Yeah, this one over here is actually somewhat cut off. Okay, so what we're going to do then is actually uh, have you remain in position. I'm going to uh, bring in, let's see here. So I'm going to bring in an armoured car over this position over here. That's going to act as actually support to the Hetzer, uh, bring in some additional infantry this way. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to push up over this way. Looks like we are running low on ammunition over here. I do have another uh, Yonkers 87 available. Okay, let's see. Anti-tank. I could bring in some actual heavier anti-tank guns and I'm going to do that. There we go. I've not made much use of my mortars and I really do think that's because they maybe need... Uh, can they actually take up positions in the buildings perhaps? I don't know how they actually work as of yet. Okay, so what we're going to do here then is unload the infantry, unload the infantry. And we are going to push up over here. These two are going to push up through this area here. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to have you move through here. You can hunt from here. Okay. Have these vehicles move up. Have the Nimrods move up. There we go, have the infantry move through here. These guys are going to move through here. These guys are going to move through here. Okay, we are coming under fire now. Yep, infantry's over there. Okay, so we can see that infantry are being pushed back here. Let's see. I do have a cluster munitions available. I'm going to take it in over this way. Right, you move over there. I have a Focke Wolf available. I'm going to bring that in over that way. Uh, so far, we're not doing too badly, actually. Yep, bring you in over that way. I'm going to bring in the armoured car. Right, keep moving the gun up to this position here. What I'm going to do now is actually move one of the infantry... There we go. I'm going to have it move up to this building here. I'm going to have you move through the tree line over here. Right, take this vehicle out over here. Good, excellent, excellent. Okay, I have the light bombs over here. I'm going to bring them in. Let's see. That looks like an ammunition truck, actually. Okay, let's actually bring in the Focke Wolf 190 over this way. Okay, let's move up these vehicles. The Nimrod could actually be used in this position over this way, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move up the uh, reconnaissance of this way. The Jagdpanzer is in a good position over here, it's helping out our forces this way. Ah, it's looking good. Right, I'm going to bring in the actual Focke Wolf as well. I mean, this is it. I definitely do lack on... Actually, you know what? Let's use the Focke Wolf over here. I'm going to bring in the uh, Yonkers 87D over this way. I'm going to bring in the Focke Wolf 190 over this way. The uh, fighter bomb variant, as we definitely do see a lot of enemy um, power moving down that way. 
I'm going to bring in some additional anti-tank power over this way. But I'm going to be looking at bringing another gun here. Definitely another gun up here in this central position here. Yeah, we really don't have much. Bringing up another gun. Yonkers is coming in here. Uh, let's take care of this position here then. Yeah, the reconnaissance is doomed. But at least it'll actually uh, help to take this tank out over here. Ideally. Do we see the bombs? Looks like you're coming in here for the dive. Yep, there's a dive. Very nice. The tank is falling back. Okay, let's see. I'm going to bring in the uh, dual purpose 80mm gun over this way. I'm going to bring in a armored car to support it. Okay, let's see. I've not been micromanaging this very well over here, so let's continue to push up. Continue to push, 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 push. Right, push, push. Push across there. I have a focal wolf available again, so I'm going to bring that in. Okay, move you up this way. Move you up through these trees as well. Okay, move that Nimrod there. It's going to be excellent to support our forces here. All right, focal wolf coming in. I'm going to take out that vehicle there. But we do see the actual mortars over there, so I'm going to go ahead and deal with them. Okay, you can push back. Fall back. Right, that heads up was destroyed over there. Right, we are seeing a lot of enemy firepower coming this way. Okay. Right, Focker Wolf's going to be brought in. Jesus, there's a lot of enemy tanks there, isn't it? Uh, now, let's see here. Um, hmm. Jagdpanzer. Right, unload. You can move out that way. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely where we want to bring bringing this, uh, uh, this aerial firepower in. Okay, move the... Uh, ooh, yeah, there's a lot of tanks coming here. A lot, a lot, a lot of tanks. Okay, we're going to bring up another support gun. Well, yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Bring that over there. Yeah, here we go. Unload you here. Definitely not the best position to be in, I'm not going to lie. I need infantry to support them here ASAP. But our gun is doing some good work over there. So in fact, have you brought in over that way? Okay, move from that way. Right, hit that vehicle. Right, we see enemies moving up this way. I'm going to bring in the uh, focal wolves. Okay, hit them. And you can hit this squad over there. Okay. I think I'll bring in some 41s over here. Bring in a uh, 40 m turret as well, the actual leader there. Uh, we do need more infantry up this way as well, so I'm going to bring in some more infantry. There we go. Okay, objective secured. Uh, base surrender. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of enemies over here. Okay, unload. Okay, putting in the focal wolves over here, trying to suppress the enemy. Okay, stop. Okay, that's one down. Fantastic work there at close range. Very good, very good. Under pressure, nerves. Well, yep, there we go. Taking out another one over there. Okay, bring in the focal wolf. Okay, what I'm going to do here then is bring in the cross munitions against the, oh, the actual focal wolf 190F over there. Okay, let's move up. Move up with the Nimrod as well, if I can. Move up with the uh, Hetzer, move up with the infantry. Okay, let's go ahead and move on up. Okay, there we go. Beginning to push. Right, there we go. Looks good. Okay, here we go. Move on up over here. Right. Have you move up there. Move there. Need to bring in some reconnaissance over this way too. Okay. It's looking pretty solid here actually at the moment. Pretty damn solid.
Okay, I'm gonna have this gun brought up this way. Okay, bailed out there. It's unfortunate. Right, begin to move up. Okay, there we go. Take out that MG. Okay, what happened here? That's not good. Okay, let's see the Nimrod in action. Okay, there we go. Yep, you're coming in. Looking good. Send the one out, engine damage up there. Yep, it's under fire. Okay, getting moving up over that way. Okay, that gun needs to move up that way. Couple turns over here. Okay, there we go. An abundance of infantry here, to be honest. Okay, move on up. Okay, what we're going to do here then is actually bring up some uh, armored cars. Right, T-34 there. Okay, let's flank it. Right, move into the actual woods over here. I mean, that's a very large team, actually. It's probably not the best idea. Okay, have you deploy here, reconnaissance? Right, Oh wow, Oh wow. Okay. Big armoured push that we're going to make. Okay, I'm going to bring in my AT guns. Uh, sorry, my artillery guns. Okay, move you up. I got to see the Nimrod open fire. Look at that fire rate. There we go. Okay, take out that vehicle. Okay. I need to bring up some flame throws to dig these guys out. Okay, putting some close munitions over this way. I think we um, kind of do have them on the ropes. I think we really have been pushing them pretty hard here. Right, you do have a shot. Look at all those shells there. Just bouncing off. <laughs> but still, it's not bad. Yeah, just look at that. Okay, what we're gonna do is reverse this vehicle over this way. Bring in another Nimrod. Right, have you push for that? Ooh, that's like an armored car there. Okay. Have my fighter brought in. Okay, so we are starting to run low here. I could bring in some leaders. It's not exactly uh, perfect. Okay, there's a lot of tanks coming this way. Okay, I'm going to bring a V uh, Junkers 87 over this position here. There we go. Okay. Bring you in, hit this position here. Okay. 
those M241s, I believe, have the um, bloody 50 cals, don't they? Okay, move you up there. Okay, have the uh, Jagdpanzer, uh, sort of the Hetza move in ahead. Go ahead and move you up. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can actually find the mortars and the actual T-34 uh, over that way. Ooh, it looks like some AA here. Look at that beauty bone. That thing is just awesome. He yeah, just takes these guys out just like nobody's business. Not a chance there. Okay. Right, so I do have all these tanks down here. Put on chatter. Peace and I'm gonna have them move up right the center here. Begin to push the enemy. There we go. There we go, move on up. Okay, take that up. In fact, um, let's say... Damn, I think I lost my Nimrod over here. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, really probably too many flamethrowers, but hey. I mean, maybe I could do with actually bringing in more here. In terms of, like, uh, infantry, perhaps. But the air power's doing a good job. Yeah, I lost my other Nimrod over here as well. That's a shame. Okay. There we go. And the good news is I still have all my air power available. Bring up some more reconnaissance over this way. I think I could have definitely been using my anti tank better, like the actual uh, Hetzes. Okay. Okay, move them over this way. What I'm going to do is actually move this gun up if I can do. Oh, I completely forgot about these guys. Okay. Let's say. Uh, okay, they do have range over here, so that's fantastic. Yeah, fire of these guys. I really can't do too much about this. Hmm. I'm gonna bring you up over here instead, actually. Oh, I think I accidentally paused the game, didn't I? I was thinking that's going really slowly. Yep, there we go, crew killed. Looks like some AA over here, actually. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of AA gun. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. There we go, look at that dive. Nice. Not taken out, but it's been forced to fall back. Uram? Uram. Okay, one user deploy that. We've got here a 75mm gun. Yep, that'll be excellent. Okay. And unload you there. Ooh. Yep, these are our pretty large uh, scouting squads as well, so these are pretty good troops. There we go. Yep, we'll bring in our 80mm gun over this way as well. 
Right, there we go. Uh, how do we do? Oh, wow, okay, major victory there. Definitely, definitely better performance there. Now, I think maybe uh, what we'll have to do is potentially more infantry, potentially, uh, I don't know. I think the deck works. I think it'd be really interesting. I'd love to hear what you guys think and how we can actually improve this. But I think Alexander's done a fantastic job here. I think things have really worked out well. I mean, you take a look at his chrono well, chronology here. It's like we were definitely, definitely kicking that ass. Honestly, as it went into B phase and C phase, the enemy really did. Just look at how many T-34s they had. That was an insane amount of T-34s. But I don't think we lost a single aircraft as well, actually. Just look at the amount of work they did. This Focke Wolf 190 over here. So Bard, uh, Reconnaissance Ship, first killed the game, I believe. Uh, two AA trucks over here. Yep, another truck over here, potentially carrying infantry. Uh, armored car, uh, M2A1, so obviously an armored uh, personnel carrier. The 14M... 40mm gun over here, uh, potentially reconnaissance vehicle, T-34, T-34, uh, unit of potentially guards, the Hussars over here, yeah, look at all the work that these guys did, they did a fantastic job there, 40M, good job, for uh, Focke Wolf 190F8, Santa, <laughs> Santa, uh, took out two aircraft over here, I don't even think I gave them the orders to do that, so I think they attacked it on their own, AA vehicle over here, T-34 on its own, mortars, T-34, uh, trucks, the Hussars, yeah, they did really good. The Yonkers 87D5, look at all those tanks there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, look at that. That is an insane amount of tanks there. That's a lot of value there on Madaras. Really good. I think what I failed is with the Jagdpanzer 38Ts. I think potentially didn't even need them towards, um, probably could have done without them at some degree, actually. But yeah, uh, this Junkers 87 over here didn't do as well, but then again, it was the one kind, just, uh, I, n I believe the normal bombs, actually, so it was harder for them. But still, this uh, 2839 Papa, or Popa, uh, killed three tanks there, Focke Wolf 190 F8. I mean, then again, this guy has a much uh, smaller bomb complement, so yeah, it was most of them for the suppression. His guns did still quite nicely. This 41 M ton and 2 actually did kill T-34 as well. Yeah, you did okay, actually, there. Okay. Yeah, let's see what killed us mostly. I mean, these T-34s were bloody dangerous. Yeah, this one over here, Chernoff, did kill uh, one gun, two guns, an armored car, and then a unit of infantry. Not bad trade, but it was definitely the T-34s. I mean, it is a difficult thing to actually answer uh, to the T-34s, because we really do need to be in a good position. But I think that was actually really nice. I think that was a really good, solid uh, game there. I really do like Alexander's deck. I think he's done a fantastic job there. And I'd like to say a big thank you here, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys have enjoyed this, please do go ahead and like, favorite, subscribe. You can find myself on Twitch, XTRG, and of course on YouTube at XTRG as well. So fantastic game here. Let me know what you guys think down below. What would you suggest as improvements? And what decks would you like to see in the future? Until next time, thank you and goodbye.